Okay, let's have a look at a question this time. So, let's apply the rule. If uh, this angle here is 27, P, okay, is also going to be 27 since it's in the same segment. If uh, angle, which is down here, sorry, if this angle here is 29, angle Q is also going to be 29. And the rule being the angle is in the same segment. Now, to work out R, we've got a triangle here which is 27 and 29 degrees and the missing angle is going to be the remaining part that's going to be added to make 100, 180 degrees and that's going to be 124 degrees let's have a look at this one so it says calculate angles w x y and z from the information given ad is the diameter of the circle so this is a d that's the diameter of the circle now, what you need to remember is that sometimes you have two rules or two theorems within one question. Now, you can see the bow and tie thing going on here as well, okay, by the shape of the two angles. But also at the same time, if you refer back to the first rule that I taught you about angles in a, angles in a semicircle being 90 degrees, that can also help you to work out this question. Um, so if we use that logic, we will know that X is going to be 90 degrees let's discuss using the theorem that we're talking about and you can see that this is extended from the same point so this angle and this angle here are extended from the same point so w is going to equal 15 because they are in the same segment now if we're looking at angle x well, angle X is 90 degrees because of the angles in a semicircle. And if you've got the two angles, you can work out Y by adding them both together and taking them away from 180. So angle Y is going to be 75 degrees. Once you've got angle Y is 75, Y and Z equal 180 degrees because they are both on a straight line. So Z is going to be 105 degrees.